Well, my hair already looked crazy, so I figure I may as well go whole hog. Hello, and welcome to another Confessions at Room 3428, week 43. Every time I, I have to type in the week, uh, I forget to mention that we've almost been doing this for a year. In less than ten weeks. In nine weeks, we'll have been doing this for a year. That's exciting. I had a really lazy day. I just kind of slept on the couch um, all day because of my tooth issue. I, I took some some pain meds, and I was like, "Oh, I'll just I'll go to sleep when when they kick it." Just out <laughs> like a light. Um, Lizzie, I don't find you boring at all, and I still want to see your me. I think it would be really cute for all of us to have memes. We don't all have wees though. Lisa and Lizzie and myself all have, I'm sure, self-made memes. Um, and I thought we could make one for everybody else. Uh, that would be cute to do, I think. Um, if it were easier to animate, because trust me, it's hard to animate. We can have like a little conversation where all our memes are talking. Um, first wizard rock band I ever heard, I think, was the Remus Lupins on Pottercast. Um, and coincidentally, also the first one that I saw live. Um, but as far as, uh, like, who I listen to the most and that sort of thing, uh, the Remus Lupus was the first CD I bought. And I also really like Alan because he, uh, Alan? Alex, because he's really personable and he is very friendly. He's always really good to sit and have a chat with. Um, but it's also nice to burst his bubble because when the fangirl starts screaming, especially when he's out and about, his head kind of gets a little big. Um, so when he played in Austin and I was sticking around after to say hello to him and Jace, I definitely smacked his ass in the middle of that bookstore. And about five fangirls started weeping, or looked like they were going to start weeping. And Alex is just like, what? I was just like, hi. He's like, hi. So um, he laughed, though, so it was, it was good. And then I immediately got a call from Melissa like an hour later. Why are you smacking Alex's ass? That's crazy. Um, I was just like, I wanted to burst his bubble. Um, but I hurt him, and he knows I hurt him. So, Addie, my favorite part of the concert at Prophecy was our dream challenge. Um, they had this drink menu, oh, my hair's falling, they had this drink menu at Prophecy, and they were all like, and I say drink, I mean alcoholic drinks, they were inspired from the book, and Addie and I, who had just met, we were like, we've got to drink every one of these before the weekend is over, and I was like, let's drink every one of these before the night is over, and there's actually pictures on Facebook, I'll see if I can find one and put it in here, of me trying what was essentially my first dry martini. And Steph had to consult me. It was terrible. But um, we, we did good. I think we had each drink at least three times. Well, what do you say, Eddie? And P.S., speaking of drinks, we have got to get you some better beer. This is my challenge for everyone this week. Um, with the exception of Lizzie, who is, of course, underage, um, and you can do this with root beer, I want to see your favorite beer. I want you to go out and buy a bottle of your favorite beer, maybe enjoy it during the vlog. This is Shiner. Oof. <laughs> This is their, oh, there it is, Anniversary Brew, 100 years, started in 1909. Um, it's a Texas beer. You can get it outside of Texas, but it's always expensive, and I can't understand that because it's not like they're importing it from Nicaragua or something. It's just Texas. And they have a holiday cheer that's like apricot and pecans. And some terrible woman, I was staring at the case. I was like, oh, that's only $10. And I was going to reach for the case. And this woman was like, hey, there's Shiner for $10 for a case. Boop. And grabs it right out from under me tonight. That bitch. So yeah, that's my challenge for this week. I want to see your favorite beer. Maybe you enjoy it during your vlog. Um, Lizzie, you can do your favorite root beer. And I know that seems limited, but there's quite a variety of root beers out there. Um, and I would be interested to get your underage take on them because I, I tend to default to the barks. Um, but I like, uh, I forget what brand it is that's in the bottle. It's really good. <sighs> oh, I feel like I've been uninteresting. Oh! Oh, that's the other thing. MyLeaky.com is probably the coolest thing ever. And Ravenclaw's currently in the lead. Ravenclaw! Ka-ka! Ka-ka! Um, go to MyLeaky.com if you're a Leaky fan, although I'm going to guess that if you're subscribed to this channel, you are probably already on MyLeaky with, with the exception of a few people that I know. They've joined because they're my friends. Um, anyway, myleaky.com, social network for the Leaky Cauldron. It's kind of amazing, and I am here pimping it out because it's kind of amazing. I love you guys. I miss you guys. I wish you were here. Um, yeah, so I'll see you all soon. Mwah.